Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Lunchtime Stampin' at Noon. I'm Tina Carini with Sponge and Stamp with Tina. So I'm so glad to be here this afternoon with you guys, and I hope that some of you jump on. I'm kind of talking to myself right now. Let me turn off the sound. And I have a super, super cute card that I posted, I think I posted it yesterday, that I would be doing um, here live to show you guys how you can make this card. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started with it. And this is the card that I'm going to show you how to make. It's super, super cute. It can be um, a card for welcoming back teachers for the new school year, even though I know that most places school's been in for, what, about a month now or so. But still, it's still early enough to welcome back your teachers. It also could be um, for a teacher who's been on sick leave or maternity leave or even for a teacher who really did something special and you want to give them some kudos for that because you know our teachers they really do need to know that they are appreciated and um, that we care about them so this would be a good card also you could change the sentiments around on this and use another stamp set or something like that and it could be for um, your doctor's office or a dentist's office or something like that um, just as a thank you for taking such good care of you and your health and there's all kinds of ways that you can use this you can take the white piece of paper off of here and um, just make it get well soon card you know the chalkboard there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with this so but we're going to recreate this card just as it is because I'm going to show you how I did it and we are using the harvest hellos bundle and that with the apple builder punch and the stamp set we're going to be using that we've also got a piece of whisper white thick cardstock that's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and then i have a piece of basic black that is four four by three and three quarters and we're going to do some sponging on there using our craft white ink and we have some scraps for our leaves and our apples and instead of doing the granny apple green, I'm going to do a golden delicious apple. I thought that that would be really great to use. I did, however, forget to bring over some brown for our stem. So I am going to bring in <clears throat> some, excuse me, some crumb cake if I can find a piece of scrap. You'd think I could find a piece of scrap really easily because... This is my scrap bin. <laughs> so, um, I just need a piece of crumb cake. That's it. That's all I need. And if I can't, we'll just use some um, early espresso. That will work just fine. Okay, so to go ahead and get started here, I am going to move these out of, this, out of the way. We're going to bring in some white craft ink. And, oops, ooh, I just knocked that right off of there. Oh, I just did that so hard, it just flipped right out of there. I'll have to fix that later after this. Okay, so I'm just taking a sponge, and I'm just going to ink this up really well. And then I'm just going to sponge around the edges of this and just kind of give it like that chalkboardy look. Just kind of around and just kind of rub it on there and sponge it on there. And bring it up a little bit more over here. So this is how you kind of create that chalkboardy look there. So that's how we've got that. And you can make it as light or as dark as you want and I think that that's probably really good so I'm going to move that out of the way <clears throat> okay so this part here is done so we're going to put that aside so now we're going to bring in our pieces for our stamping and I did not block up our 
things here. So we've got our leaf and we have our little apple. So we have that. And then we are going to ink up in crushed curry. So tone on tone. And I've got my little scraps here. So I'm inking that up and I'm just going to stamp that down. And I didn't bring my cleaner over here either. So <laughs> we are just going to stamp that off and be all right. And then we're doing real red on real red and just stamp that down just like so. Okay. And then we, I'm going to leave that open because we are still going to use that. I need some green for our, for our leaf. So we're going to use old olive on old olive. So just going to bring this over. like so and just kind of stamp our leaves we need two leaves actually I think now two leaves is good okay I am going to close this up because we are done with that and now we're going to do our stamping so this is where our builder punch comes in and I am going to go ahead and line these up I'm going to start line my leaves up here the best that I can and punch one out and punch this one out. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat today. Okay, so there is our leaves. We have our two leaves. This really is an easy card to make. It's not hard at all. Now we're going to cut our red apple out. You know what, before I do that, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and heat emboss, so which is what I did on this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have my Versamark and my embossing buddy. So we're going to rub this on here. And what this does is take off any static or any kind of oils or stuff that come from your fingers so that it kind of helps the embossing powder to stick only only where you want it to stick. And then I have my Versamark and let's see here. Our sentiment is to an A plus teacher. We're going to go ahead and block that up and I'm going to hope that I can stamp this straight. But if we don't, we don't. It's not a big deal. So there we go. So now I'm going to put on our white embossing powder just like that. Kind of give it a little flick. Now we are ready to heat emboss. So I'm going to close this up and we're going to close our powder off because we don't want to spill because that would make a huge mess. And now I'm going to turn on my heat tool and I'm going to let it warm up. It's going to get a little loud here just for a couple of seconds, but that's all right. I'm going to start from the bottom, just kind of heat it from the bottom moving it around. I'm going to come to the top and then you're going to be able to see it actually work. So there we go. And that looks pretty good. So now we are ready to punch this out. I'm going to let that cool for a second so that it doesn't smear. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. We're going to stick that in here and line that up the best that we can. I really love this set. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. You can make your apples, you can make your pumpkins, some really, really cute cards. I'm in the process of designing another pumpkin card because I love pumpkins and apples. So this is like really fun and I absolutely love this set. Okay, so now I'm going to punch out our Golden Delicious apple here. There we go. And I don't need those. So now what I'm going to do, we could just leave them just like this and they would look perfectly fine just to add our stems and our leaves to them and they would look fine. But what I think I'm going to do that I didn't do in this card 
and this one right here, I didn't do it. I didn't stamp the outline of the apple, so we did that. Just kind of step it up just a little bit. And then we can take our sponge. So I've got a little sponge dauber here. And I am just gonna kind of sponge the edges around just to kind of give it just a little bit more um, interest, I guess would be the right word for that. <clears throat> So we're going to do that. If you're watching the replay of this, thank you so much. And um, I hope that you really do enjoy this video and that it inspires you to make some really cute cards. Okay, really is simple. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, I really would like to encourage you and invite you to come because they really are a lot of fun. I do all the work for you, so it's all pretty easy. And I try to do my best to teach you how to do it and to help you along your way. Um, it really is a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of neat, cool people and, and just have some fun. And I think I have glitter on this. And I just used, dumped it in my red. See, I can't talk. That's okay, because I'm going to give it, because sometimes, you know, with your um, Golden Delicious, sometimes they have a little bit of red on there. But this, I grabbed the wrong sponge dauber, and I did use this for my um, copper shimmer one, the new one that's out, and I didn't realize that. So this one's going to have a little glitter to it, but it will be just fine. Okay, so now it's putting these guys together. So I'm going to take my liquid glue here, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the bottom of the stem, just a tiny bit, and we're going to put that right on there, just like so. And really and truthfully, I'm so used to doing my pumpkins that I put the stem on backwards. So we're gonna do the other end. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And then this one, and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there. And then that one. Okay, so there are our apples. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stamp welcome back on our... This is just a piece of notebook paper that I cut. I think it's like three and a half by, I don't know, two. You just cut whatever size you want. And that's all I did was just run it through my little paper trimmer and cut that down. So let's see here. Let's find our welcome back right here and kind of block that up. I think I'm going to use a smaller block. I'm going to put it at an angle because sometimes that does help me to um, lost my wording. That helps me to stamp straighter. It doesn't always work, but most of the time it does. <laughs> All right, so I am going to bring in some Memento Black ink, and it never fails because every time I think that I have everything I need over here, I find out that I do not. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that right here. Hope and pray that I can stamp that straight, and it's okay. It looks okay to me. All righty, so now we're going to assemble this card. So I'm going to take our little chalkboard piece here. And I'm going to put some glue right down on that. And just kind of center this on here. I'm pretty happy with that. Then we're going to tack this down. So I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of glue on there. And that's just going to go right across here like that. And then this apple here, we're going to pop up. So let's pop that up. So we're going to pop that apple up. Oh, stuck to my fingers. So that is going to go here. 
And then this one, we are only going to pop it up on one side. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off of here. I really should have taken my bone folder and give this a nice crisp fold so that it would stay shut a little easier. There we go. Okay, so I've taken the stems off of that and I'm just going to place it right about there. And then we're going to take this. I'm also going to put a little bit of adhesive on this side just to kind of hold it down. And we're going to place that right about there just like so. Now we just have our leaves to put on there. So when you stamp your leaves, you want, when you put them on, make sure that you don't put them on upside down. So you want to make sure that your veins are going the right way. So we have that and that. And we're going to glue this one down. Just like, oops, just like that. So, we are done, except for adding a little bit of bling bling. So I am going to use some Holiday Basic Rhinestones. And instead of the red, I really think I'm going to use the yellow because I think that's going to, oops, that's going to be really, really pretty on there. I don't want to use the red, so let me get that back in there. I'm going to use the yellow, so I'm going to take my Take You Pick Pull tool and we're going to place one right here. And then we are going to place two over here, so probably about there. And um, let's say one right about here. There we go. So there we go. There is our card. So that's how you make it, and I hope that this inspires you guys. And if I can help you with anything at all, please contact me because I would really love to earn your business. And again, I would love to invite you to come to one of my stamping classes, card classes. And I actually have one, <clears throat> excuse me, that is coming up next Thursday. It's at 630. The information is under the events on this page, Sponge and Stamp with Tina. And... Um, it is an RSVP so that I know who to pre how many to prepare for, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys just, I hope that you come. And also, um, Friday, next Friday, the 27th is the last day to be able to prepay and register for our bingo, which is going to be October 12th. I really hope that you guys sign up for that because that's going to be a lot of fun. And again, the information for that is also under the events on this page, Sponge and Stamp with Tina. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope to see you at Class and Bingo. Okay, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.